Welcome back to the Ground Control Station. And today on the bench, we have ourselves a President Lincoln 2 Plus. Okay. Aaron out of Arizona. He wants this thing to be tuned to run wide open. All right. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get this thing cracked open and rocking. Okay, with a well, of course with a clean waveform as well. Okay, so this thing's not going to be set up for a low drive amp. It's not going to be set up for a high drive amp. It's going to be purely set up just to run wide open by itself. Okay, barefoot radio. All right, so um, RF powered down, all the way down. We'll turn this mic gain all the way up. Actually. Just so we can see the dead key on the low side. Our uh, mic gain all the way down. Almost a three watt dead key. Two division carrier on the O-scope. 27205. Channel 20. 25 watt in reverse, zero reflect. I'm on key. Now I'm gonna key back up. Minimal reflect, man. Maybe a half a watt. If if not that, maybe three quarters at the most. All right. So now we're gonna come back over here. RF power all the way up. Key it up. Almost 14 watts, about 13 and a half watts. Reflect at a minimum. A little bit more than on the low side. 25 watt in reverse. 50 forward, 100 forward, and a 50 watt scale on the service master. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, RF power all the way down. We're going to come back here. We'll turn the mic gain all the way up. There we go. And when we key up into the mic, we're going to modulate and see how much forward watts we're getting. Audio. 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 All right, about 21 watts. That's your peak setting. We'll check the old scope. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Black Ops technology. RF. 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 Alrighty then. Break up, break up. Alright. It doesn't seem to be clipping vocally, which is a good thing. Alright. RF power all the way up. We're gonna modulate. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, audio check, one, two, three. Audio check. Now your carrier's changed. Audio check, audio check. RF, RF, RF. Clean RF is the best RF. Audio check, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, it's not pinching. Your carrier's not pinching. It's definitely not flat topping and clipping vocally, which is a. Uh, a really good deal. Uh, probably getting about 37 watts peak here. Okay. Uh, we'll also check the dead key here. Uh, 13 watts. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna set you down. Actually, uh, first of all, we are going to turn your RF power all the way down, okay? And now we're gonna set you down and inject that one kilohertz tone. I'll make sure we I don't move you. One 
one kilohertz tone coming up. All right, Aaron, <laughs> that waveform is funky monkey. It's not clipping, it's not flat topping. <clears throat> but as you can tell, your positive peaks are terrible. Now you gotta remember, when, when you look at your positive peaks, your negative peaks are gonna mimic it for the most part, okay? Damn near to the T. So, what you want is you want a clean sinusoidal waveform, okay? Not up and down, all right? This is right here is what you call some sawtooth bullshit. All right, now I'm going to turn the RF power all the way up, okay? Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to readjust my volts per division <clears throat> when I key back up with the one kilohertz tone. And we'll get it, <coughs> excuse me, we'll get it back on the oscilloscope screen to where we can see the waveform on the high side of the RF power. All right, one kilohertz tone coming up. As you can tell, that was with your RF power all the way up. I really don't know what the hell is going on with this wave, but that thing is fucking ugly, man. Absolutely ugly. So what we're gonna do um, without any ratchet on or anything like that, cause I'm backed up, man. I got 11 radios here. Oh man, and I tell you, and Aaron, you know, three of them are yours, okay? So it is what it is, man. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this thing. And, um, you know, <laughs> run our black ops services, no two doubts about it. Let's get down to business. All right, and we're back, man. We got her open. Thankfully, it's not clipped. I already knew that by um, observing the waveform on my old scope. But you always wanna check. Okay, and a lot of people don't realize is there's in most radios, there's multiple modulation limiters or when you go down the modulation chain, there's different limiters. Okay, so this one has three different limiters. None of them have been removed. None of your trap coils are spread spaced and nothing needs any extra thermal compound or or thermal compound added. Anyways, okay, the only thing I did was just come through and run through and make sure everything is kosher. Okie dokie, Ocean King, okay, all right? Plenty of thermal compound where it needs to be. President even adds thermal compound on your power leads, man, inside the ferrite, because it will get hot inside, okay? Um, the only thing I did, get my poker. It's just add a fair right on your speaker cable. If if you want to use talk back and stuff like that, or you do use talk back, this allows you to use it at a louder volume without being uh, susceptible to squeal. Okay, that's it. Just a little impedance on these lines. That's it, man. Other than that, everything is Ocean King. Okay. Very, very clean radio. 
And um, <clears throat> I did have to uh, desolder the shield for the receive and tighten up the receive just a little bit, okay? It is what it is, all right? A negative 119 dB down, this thing is is stroking. It's a good radio, receive and transmit, okay? So now we're going to get the case back on. We're going to get it back on the test equipment, and we're going to show you what this thing is doing. Hold on to something. We'll be back. All right, we're back, man. RF power all the way down. Mic gain all the way down. Here's your dead key. Almost 10 watts on the low side. All right. And we will check the reflect on that. Barely registering. 50 forward, 100 forward, 50 watt on the service master. All right, so your different scales are all there. We're going to come back, turn the mic gain all the way up. Excuse me, that was the uh, RF power, not the mic gain. My bad. Almost a 16 watt carrier on the high side. Okay. This is going to be a safe dead key for these finals. All right. <clears throat> 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 watt dead key on the high side with these uh, finals, man. Uh, no good. No bueno. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically what we'll be doing here is bringing the mic game back up. RF power is all the way down. I'll show you what she's doing on the low side. Audio check, one, two, three, four, five. 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 I say an average swing of about 34 watts, max peak, uh, 42 watts on the low side. We'll come back here. My game is still all the way up. Now we just put the RF power all the way up. On the high side, you got a 16 watt dead key. Three quarters of a watt of reflect, which is nothing. Audio. Audio. Black Ops technology. Audio. Audio, audio. Average power, 100 watt scale, 50 watt scale, 25 watts in reverse. Yeah, man, this thing's stroking. All right, let me get everything back uh, situated. Uh, we'll show the waveform on the O-scope and let you hear the modulation and the talk back. No doubt about it. Coming up. Is pretty, sir. President Lincoln 2 Plus, ready to rock. Secondary harmonics, well within uh, the correct spam. All right. All right, my bad, guys. I had a service call, man. And service calls come first. All right, so we're back in. Uh, the radio's cleaned up. I cleaned it up a little bit. There's nothing I can really do with. Uh, surface imperfections, scratches, unless you want me to prime and paint the damn thing. But that's not the case. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's hear this, uh, let's hear this modulation, shall we? Audio check one, two, three, four, five. Audio check one, two, three, four, five. 
Audio check one, two, three, four, five. Audio check one, two, three, four, five. Ground control 204, Black Ops Technology. Ground control 204, Black Ops Technology. Audio there, break up, break up. Audio, break, break, break. Now, pretty, pretty cool. Sounding good. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I am one of the best president and striker radio techs out there. Yeah, man. They're awesome radios. Between striker and uh, president, they're some of my favorite radios, man. And it does take a little bit of knowledge to work on them and get them stroking properly. Properly, okay? Without causing uh, the radio to be a splatter box, man. <laughs> and not to mention, man, I'm beating probably every tech uh, in North America uh, in price wise, man. <clears throat> so I'm proud of that. I'm happy of that. And uh, the competition is stiff, but not as stiff as you think. You got to remember, there's probably only like three handfuls worth of uh, credible techs in North America. Okay, so. Yeah, man. Shout out to all my uh, repair techs out there that I'm sub to and uh, socialize with. Uh, waving a hand to all the radio heads and radio addicts and uh, all my buds. Yeah, man. Um, Ground Control 204, Black Ops Technology. This is a wrap, Aaron. All right. Hey, guys, if you're new, please like, subscribe. Share my stuff. And remember, there's always more content to come. Ground control. Black Ops technology. And we're gone. Gone, gone, gone.